the morning we are going to a new job site 30 minute drive so far not not so bad the first thing i see when i get off the freeway the carls <laughs> you know what i you know what i like to say another day another dollar my food's warming up today's the first day we're actually getting a ghost Sheesh! Look who's back! Look who's back! I know, huh? <laughs> this is like episode five and shit. Who get one of y'all get one? I gotta get that two for five. I'm not gonna pay three fifty for this shit. Oh, that's clean. I bet you didn't smoke. Huh? <laughs> that's right. Yeah. I'm such a bad influence food. <laughs> uh, influence me to go. Smoke, That's right. <laughs> get my money out. Hey, it's all, it's all good influences from here. You going to steal my food or what? I'm just kidding. <laughs> now, burritos isn't enough for me to get full, so what I decided is to share my burritos and also go to lunch. We're gonna get in and out. I don't like driving in the nighttime. Like no Painting the fucking metal. But yeah, now we only got $19 in this $100 budget. We got until Sunday with that, so. Just clocked out of work. The drive home is 45 minutes. Now that's way better that's more like it but unfortunately we are not coming back here tomorrow it's fine because we got some great news today i'm not gonna spoil it to you guys once it comes it'll come but just know i don't think these government jobs are coming to a stop anytime soon so we gotta make the best out of it i know these past two months we've had ups we've had downs but now it's time to lock the fuck in i know i've said that millions of times but it's time to lock the fuck in and pay off my shit that's the reason why i'm doing this hundred dollar budget which we have 19 dollars left <laughs> it's fine you can make 19 bucks last the whole fucking week time to deliver the package we also got these packages that we gotta take we're gonna take everything but we're not gonna build it or set it up that's what we're gonna do tomorrow Today we're just gonna take everything, get the storage unit, get the keys for it, and prepare for tomorrow. So on the 8th of every month, that is when the rent is due, you have 9 days to make the payment, you will have a late fee. The fees you do have is a one-time administration fee, a one-time fee to open an account of $29, and then the late fee. The late fee happens on the 11th day of non-payment. $18.99 plus tax, looking at $20.74, with a big cash card. Mm -hmm. Full money, maybe just because it's twenty nine dollars, not re refundable. Okay. So maybe not that, but I, uh, yeah. I could try to get you the other If he's able to help with the rest, that would be very helpful. Yeah, for sure. I'll email him and all that for you. For you and all that, I'll say it's a, it was a glitch in the system, and you didn't, you didn't see it and all that. Mm -hmm. So hopefully he he will say yeah and all that, and I will, I'll let you know by okay. call. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, well, well. We now got our storage unit. Let's just let's fill this bad boy up. Me and the homie Kev are going to be coming to the storage unit constantly to work on the clothing brand. We are excited to have a workspace for this. We've been both getting a lot of ideas and a lot of inspiration and motivation to work on the clothing brand because we really want this to work out. We really want it to pop off and I really do believe it will. If that means I'm going to have to <laughs> pay off some shit and then be able to invest into it, I will. But I know I got to pay off some of my debt first we have now filled up the storage unit this looks tiny compared to how big the storage unit is it's honestly a good decent size i don't want to show you guys the outside because I can't trust y'all but i'm excited to bring a lot of content coming from the storage unit as well as a lot of business we're going to be working a lot on the clothing brand but not just the clothing brand. We're also gonna be trying to do reselling from here. As you can see, there's a good amount of space. We won't be needing it all for the clothing brand. So we'll be able to store a couple of bigger things rather than just reselling games and Pokemon cards. We'll be able to get couches, furniture, and even place it like right here in the corner or something. While over there, we got the whole clothing brand going on. That's all we really gotta do today for the storage unit. Um, unfortunately, we were charged twice 
He told me it's because I rented two storage units, but that didn't make sense. He said he was gonna talk to his boss and tell them about the situation, saying it was a glitch. And hopefully, hopefully we get a refund. We would have had 125 bucks right now. Plus we had to spend 20 bucks on a lock, which I used the money in my cash up. Now we are, we are actually broke. <laughs> We're actually broke for the rest of the week, which it's not bad. The only problem is that we don't have enough gas for the rest of the week. So we're gonna have to find a way of making money from, like that. I'm gonna take $20 from the business money because we use $20 for a lock um, and replenish it as if it never happened. But we gotta be on top of our expenses and top of our money. We can never be this broke again. I know I put myself in this situation. I told myself this would be the last time. So let's make it the last time. I can't be putting myself in shittier situations even when I got the best opportunities. Hasta mañana. I need some new running shoes. These are not it. I've been averaging eight to nine minute miles bro. my feet hurt from fucking work. And these running shoes do not help at all. Those are my excuses. At least we're running, right? All right, right now I'm going to my cousin's pad. We gotta drink these three waters so that we make a gallon today. This is for the homie Matt because he's drying me the crusty crab. Chef Chewy in the cut. He says some tacos. Taco Wednesday. <laughs> so I did end up putting $20 of gas into my car. But as you can see, I got an ice cream sandwich. Comment down below what you think my punishment should be for eating sugar or for even buying the smallest things such as energy drinks or snacks. It's 1040. We just uploaded the new video. We're too busy to do my non-negotiables today, but let me know down in the comments below what my punishment should be for the days that I don't do my non-negotiables. Tomorrow we're going to another job site, not the one that we went to today, not the one that we went to yesterday. They just keep sending us a new job sites, but we gotta make the best out of it. I think this is probably gonna be the closest one so far. Yeah, but I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.